Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to part 2 of Final Fantasy 13 on the Xbox One X via the Back Compact program. And we are exactly where we're at the end of part 1. We're with Hope and Vanille. I'm going to suss this area out now, see what's going on. It's a new environment, so a little bit, a little bit more open than the previous one, which was a straight road. Let's go see what we got. I mean, the, the thing with this game, if you look at the top right, for anyone who's not played it, but I'm sure you have, you can see the enemies on the map. So, you know, you're safe to run around to a point and not trigger fighting, which became a bit frustrating in the older ones. Some people didn't mind it, but when you want to look around an environment, and you're just getting the sound of breaking glass and fights every sort of 13, 14 steps. It's like, <laughs> it's like, God damn it. Yeah, we need to get these uh, steps and everything raised, if I remember rightly. Work the room, people. Work the room. There will be... Uh... I don't know, what are they? Wolf-type uh... creatures, perhaps? Panther on. Oh, Panther, there you go. Panther type creature then. On and on, Panther on. What are these little fellas then? Zwerg Scandroid. Got a preemptive strike there, nice. I thought I was. I always thought her weapon was pretty clever the way they did it in this game. Like three fishing rods getting fired out and. Please don't go looking for trouble. Stop your whinging, Hope. For God's sake. Excellent. Floaty balls. Go. So far, so good on the fighting. Not that they've been overly hard, of course, but... We're doing alright. All enemies guard areas limited by their fields of vision or other means of detection. Upon entering a guarded area, there is a chance that an enemy or enemies patrolling will notice you. If your trespass is observed, a warning symbol appears. These foes will become hostile, taking up its positions. If your party leader become, uh, comes into contact with an enemy, a battle will begin. Battles begin normally if the enemy was aware of the party's presence. If the enemy was off guard, however, the party will prompt to strike you. Yeah. Certain enemies like Zwerg Scandroids have extremely narrow fields of vision and can easily be approached unnoticed. It is always advantageous to do it if possible, as initiating a preemptive strike forces the enemy to enter battle with their chain gauges near staggering threshold. Right, okay. That's quite handy then. Hmm. Oh, 
stringing now. Well, they're very easy to kill, aren't they? The old scandroids. Ooh, the iron banglers are here. Panther! Panther on! Tell you though, for a young lad who was far too frightened to fight with a gun, he's doing not bad with a boomerang. <laughs> He'll take on, you know, any enemy with a boomerang, but not a gun. No, no, that's just crazy talk, that is. Aren't you scared? Mm, not so much. You really don't get it. Pulse Falsy and Lissy are bad news. That's why Cocoon kicked them out. Live too close to the Falsy, one way ticket to Pulse. That's the purge in a nutshell. If they catch us here, they'll purge us too. And What's then. What's your problem? What's my. Pulse is hell on Earth. Mm. Huh? We'll be okay. Calm down. Get off me. 101 ways to get a girlfriend. Can you hear me? Where are you? Snow, the hero. It's got a touch of the trial of cloisters about Don't it, this worry, music. Sarah. Your hero. And this area for that matter. Wonder what that's for. <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Go have a look. Start using these other ones, otherwise, I'm going to have a million of these save points. Anything up here? There's a ball behind a floaty ball behind us. Looks like Snow's gonna be taking everyone on his own with his fests. Uh, fair play. I do know where I'm going. I'm just looking around every corner, people. Round every corner. Yeah, to be fair, the little menu does tell you if there's uh, things, doesn't it? The little map, red little map. Let's have it. Come on, you. Punch time. Nothing to worry about. Why not? Grenade! This? 
<laughs> Likes his grenades at the minute, doesn't he? Boom! Show sure what that. Oh right, I see. Sorry, it's the yellow symbol. The orange symbol is the one in the middle, Stephen. Just hold on, Sarah. Activate the laser. Who designs these rooms? Seriously, how do they get to bed at night? Winning. Why didn't I listen? Uh, beg your pardon? It was me. This is my fault. Beg your pardon? Cover your ears. Huh? Oh, oh, blast charge? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right, hold on. All right, go for it. Make it happen. I'm so sorry. Please let me in. Please? Hey! Wait. What? How'd you open it? Magic. After you. <laughs> Those are coming together, methinks. Shrouds are special single-use aerosols. <laughs> Nearly said arseholes there. That can only be used outside of battle and grant the party tactical advantages. Fortisol and Aegisol bestow their bonuses at the start of a battle. Decepticol, on the other hand, shields the party from enemy detection, eliminating concern for being spotted and attacked. It is useful for avoiding combat and also launching preemptive strikes. Enemies like Pantherons whose field of visions allow them to monitor wide areas, normally turn hostile and display warning icons as soon as they are approached. Apply a spray of Deceptisol, however, and you will have no trouble gaining a preemptive strike. To open the shroud menu, press LB while exploring. Select a shroud with the bumper button, or the stick, I assume, and then press A to use it. Close the menu without using a shroud. Press LB or B. Uh, LB or B. Shroud effects wear off after a brief duration, so be sure to use uh, to time their application carefully. And there they are. We've only got one of each, so we'll save them. What does right bumper do then? Apart from nothing at all. Okay. Something's running towards us. Here they come. Fight time! Thunder, lightning. The panther run, they're not frightening. Staggered. Ah, 
Ah, uh, up the steps we go. Into the battle. Bloody hell, there's a few of them up here. Have it. Big fella up the top there. Let's take these little guys out, I think, first. Yeah. Easy. Who are ya? Floaty balls, thank you. Phoenix down, very handy. Haven't needed one yet, but we got close at one point. Come on, big fella, let's have you. Team just about got his uh, stagger on. Huh. Ooh, that was a close one. I risked that a little bit. <laughs> Probably could have got away with that using the potion, to be fair, but anywho. Panic set in, people. You know what I'm like. Panther on! Floaty ball, thank you. Oh, the Gladius, hello. New sword, is it? Is it better than the one we've got? What are you doing? Magic goes down, strength goes up to what though? No, oh, it goes up by 10, doesn't it? Yeah, well, she's not using any magics at the minute, so we'll take a bit of that action.
Whoa, Jesus Christ. Two of them. Come on, come on team. Let's get that big guy down. Nice work. Solve the reflexes. If those things are still around, might be some soldiers trapped in here too. Except they'd probably be Lassie by now. Huh? Not even human anymore. Just post Lassie. Enemies of Cocoon. Can't show them any mercy. There's the next one. All right. <clears throat> Back to snow. It's not a save point behind us, is it? Floaty ball, though. Always run the opposite way first, people. It's the rule of thumb. Whoa, he's got three Fortisol and one Deceptisol. I tend to hang on to them at this stage in the game. They're quite handy later on when you try to get the jump on Das enemies. Pretty sure if there is something, the map shows it. Yeah, it's fine. Come on, then, save it. Bring it on! So far, so five star. I think I've had two four stars, haven't I, so far, I think. Memory serves me right. Oh, hello. Easy. All right. Going up. All right. Hang on, baby. Your hero's <laughs> on the way. <laughs> Has your fella ever said that to you in the lift, girls? Hey, hang on, baby. Your hero's on the way. <laughs> Hang on, baby. Your hero's on the way. He is here, calling himself a hero. He's coming our way. Well, what should I do? Tell him what you need to. 
But nothing I say will change what happened. Hmm. We could just run away. Well, there's a jump point behind us. It's a bit strange that it's letting us go back as it happens. What's up here then? Yeah, we've already done that because that ball's been done, hasn't it? Yeah, we've, we've already done them. It's letting us grind people is what it's doing. It's letting us go back and fight them again. Which we won't. Like that is it. Pantherons charging at us from the left and the right. That way we're going, can it? It's locked, isn't it? Oh man, it might not be actually. Hmm. Ah, okay. We've done. We have done this area. It's just the set of steps has reappeared, isn't it? Or appeared, I should say. Let's see what we got up here. There we go. Let's go! Can we take it a little slower? You're gonna regret this! You're gonna regret this, mate! As you know, funnily enough, she's got the Australian accent, but he's got the boomerang. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Two stereotypes to give her the boomerang, was it? To be fair, the voice actors would have been done way after the game was made. Wouldn't it? Well, Western voice actors at that. Come on, Hope. Stop your whining and let's go. He gets alright later on, Hope, once he gets over the whole mum dead thing. And it, it wasn't Snow's fault. <sighs> there is an eye opener and no mistake. <laughs> Mr. Hopo. <laughs> Zombies! Failed. This is what happens 
when Lissi didn't complete the focus the Falci gave him. Huh? Let's even these odds. <laughs> Let's go. Awesome music in this game, I have to say. It does change depending on who you're fighting with, I think. How did you get in here? You gotta leave. Okay, listen. Find some place to hide and keep quiet. Once I find Sarah, We'll all leave together. Uh, You'll be home in time for dinner. <laughs> you... Wait! Who's Sarah? My wife. Future wife, that is. She's a pulse, Lassie. No. She's here somewhere, along with that foul sea. I gotta find her and set her free. What's wrong with you? Why do you want to help a sea? They're the enemy! How can you save a sea? And not... And not... That's insane! <laughs> Probably. But I gotta do something, right? I'll be back. Uh, should we wait around for him? And hitch a ride? I'd rather uh, go to Pulse! Why is this happening to me? When they found the foul sea the other day, we were just visiting Bodum, but the army took us, threw us on that train. Because of that guy, Mom is... Probably shouldn't leave them alone. You think? Who wants to help us see? Um. <sighs> hey again. Hey. Let's go with him. You gotta talk to him, Hope. If you don't take this chance, you regret it forever. Okay. Okay. Let's go. What's gotten into you, soldier? Thought you came for a fight. My sister. Your sister? She's a Lassie. What? A Pulse Lassie? The Falci has her captive, but I'll find her. Uh, is she still... Hey, what was her focus? When she became a Lassie, what did the Falci order her to do? I mean, it wasn't blow up Cocoon or anything like that, was it? I didn't ask. <gasps> Listen to me. When a person gets cursed by a foul sea, they become a lassie, and they get given a focus, right? How do I put this? If they don't carry it out, lassie end up as one of those things. What I'm saying is, if your sister's gone that far, I mean, she might still. How, how can I? <sighs> digging a hole, mate. You're digging a hole. <laughs> There's no way to turn a Lucy back into a human. Even if she completes her focus, there's no changing her fate. She'll live her life as a foul sea slave. Don't make her suffer. Just say it! Any Lassie, anyone who might ever become a Lassie should be wiped off the face of Cocoon.
It's people like you that started the purge in the first place. Harsh. No need for that now. Only try to help. Here we go. New enemies. Floaty balls. Let's get them first. Nice. Preemptive strike, hopefully. Yep. Power wristband, nice. Now let me just confirm something here. Uh, pretty sure we can't sort of level up or anything yet. I think that all comes later. Well, that's frustrating. You <laughs> you got to click on each thing to get rid of the. Christ. Uh, right, okay. Ability. It doesn't look like we can do anything with um, skill points or anything. However, oh, easy. Can I equip stuff on this dude? Yes, I can. Um, do I assume that strength helps him with his guns or are they magic? Not overly sure. She's already got the iron bangle on. HP goes down, but strength goes up. Uh, might be good for her, actually. Let's give that a whirl. We'll give him the extra HP. Seems reasonable. Okay, team. Let's go. Seriously, she should bring that sword up a little bit. Let's get annoying bouncing off the back of her legs. Sure, I felt something flying over us there, yeah. There's things flying in the air, people. These things grow wings. Preemptive strike, baby. Come on. <laughs> the others didn't join in though, did they? Getting these preemptives on these guys pretty easily. So for those that haven't noticed, it's 
if you get the preemptive strike, the stagger bars are already nearly full. Therefore, you just immediately get uber damage on them. And that's the big orange bar up at the top right of the screen. Of the enemy that you're on. Yeah, interestingly, I thought that was a stagger uh, preemptive strike, but obviously not. Didn't last long anyway. I'm kind of hoping that you guys want to see more of this, because I'm really enjoying playing it. And uh, I'd quite like to do a bit more, but we'll see. Well, it's telling us to go left, so let's have a little look down here. Well, these are the lights, aren't they, that Snow's turned on. Yeah, he's already done that section. So there's really not a huge amount of point going way off the path because it's areas done by other characters, isn't it? Let's go! As I say, it does get a lot more interesting battle-wise once you get down on the surface and uh, I think that was that was some people's gripe with the game. It was extremely linear for the entire first disc. And took a, a quite a while to get going so far as jumping between characters and getting to control all of them. Whereas at this point you just get to control the one. But it does give you all of that later on. But it is a very long game so, you know, I think it paced itself okay. I think in retrospect it got a much harder time than it deserved this game to be fair. I think it got like 7 out of 10s and stuff at the time but I'd, I'd score it way higher than that after finishing it and seeing how massive it gets in the third, well, second and third disc. Although there's only, I assume the back and pat, you won't need to worry about the disc because it downloads a new version of the game, so one disc to activate it, one disc to rule them all, <laughs> and in the darkness bind them. I mean, I think in my heart, Final Fantasy X will always be the one that stays with me the longest, but I do much prefer, once this battle system gets going properly, I much prefer this one for its speed and the picking of fights rather than it happening automatically all the time. Here we go. Jesus Christ, how many of them? Give me them all at once, come on. They ain't nothing. I mean, to some extent, this entire massive first section is really just a huge tutorial and get used to the real-time battle mechanics. Because it was the first step away from turn-based. Well, it's still turn-based, but it was, it was a step away from turn-based where the enemy doesn't get their turn until you get yours. It's not like that in this one. You've got to be thinking on your feet. The enemy will take its turn irrelevant of what you've done. As long as they're, well, as long as the bar's full for their next turn. Dilly-dallying. I don't think you'll find them dilly-dallying. Right? Oh, 
Ooh, there's some big fellas. Sash needs a potion. I like the fact that healing yourself doesn't take a turn either. Really speeds it up that. I appreciate it. Go on, Saz. I can't believe how good it looked. I mean, it was a good-looking game and it, when it came out, you know, but it's just stunning the way it's playing. Absolutely stunning. Sarah! <sighs> Time to go. We have to leave before the army. What? That's a Pulse brand. That girl's a Lassie. I already told you that. Pulse Lassi are the enemies of Cocoon. So they should die? Listen, if she fails her focus, you know how that'll end. And killing her is a mercy? You came. Sarah! Hey, the gang's all together. Sarah. Is that my hero? It is. Let's get you out of here. Hands off. I'm taking her home. Sis. I... I'm not your sister. You couldn't protect her. It's your fault she can save us. Sarah? You can save us. Protect us all. Save Cocoon? Sarah, that was your focus? Anything. I'll do anything. Leave it to me. You'll see. I'll protect Cocoon. I'll save everyone. Somehow. I'll make things right. You just relax. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Sarah! Alive. No. The legend. Remember the legend. Lassie who fulfilled their focus turned to crystal and gained eternal life. It's the same with Sarah. Eternal life. She's not dead. 
Sarah's my bride to be. I promise to be hers forever. I don't care how many years I have to wait. <coughs> it's over. <laughs> Open your eyes and face reality. <sighs> Sarah, does becoming a lassie really mean losing everything? Well, that's the sound of the shit hitting the fan, isn't it? The target is almost in place. Surface team, what is your status? Good to go. Resistance is under control. The assault proceeds as planned. Leave no trace. The pulse vestige never existed. Probably not trench only coat. true. Where you going? A <laughs> trench coat. <laughs> the foul sea. Got some things to talk about. What? <laughs> you gonna ask it to help her? <laughs> are you out of your mind, kid? That thing wants to chew us up and spit us out. Well, what do you want me to do? Uh, what? Lightning? Here we go. Who we got? Yeah, that's a team for you. These flying guys. Preemptive though. A little bit nimble, those flying ones. Keep missing them. Well, lightning does. <laughs> I like the way they just run past them. <laughs> <laughs> Not so easy, guys. Oh, I think actually I need to stop her going for those. She keeps missing them. Let the guy with the gun take out the other dude. Final Fantasy X, it was Wacko, wasn't it? Took care of the flying things. Mainly. Uh, hang about. 
save point and floaty balls. Thank you. Nice. Not that we've used that many of them, but I don't think there was any others down there. Probably not a bad idea to save it. Sarah's a crystal now. You gave her a focus, and she did it! You got what you want! Now let her go! <sighs> Please, turn her back! <sighs> I'll be your listening instead! Fine. You go on begging, like this thing gives a damn what we want! Lightning! It's this thing's fault the purge started, and it's people who are dying. Sarah told us to save Cocoon. That means this thing needs to die! Think you can kill a Falsy? I'm doing this for Sarah. <laughs> what the hell? Dodge. I'm in. As long as you don't mind an amateur. <sighs> I got these things. Might as well use them. Thanks. Okay. Bloody stagger bars a nightmare, isn't it? Oh, is he? No, that's not what I meant to do, but it seems to be working as happens. Get 
Get in there. Go on, nearly got it. Come on, guys. Hold it together, Snow. Nice work, team. Five stars. Cha-ching. Have it. close my eyes and lose myself in happier days. Cutscene stuff just absolutely stunning in these Final Fantasy games. I mean, they <laughs> they even match up to stuff that's going on now. You know, I mean, a lot of it's done in game now, of course, but um, absolutely gorgeous. I kind of miss the CGI stuff being done like that sometimes. Sheer beauty of it. Hmm. We get a bit of a flashback moment here, I think, don't we? Day 11. The seaside city of Bodom. to watch from oh. the whole game's here tonight how'd that happen <laughs> don't know destiny more like dumb luck let's go find him <laughs> oh, excuse me see you around you know no but i want to <laughs> i just missed her she said she'd be at the usual place <laughs> <laughs> thanks Sorry about that. Now, who'd you say you were looking for? Here goes. Making a wish? 
<laughs> Maybe I was. I was hoping that tomorrow I can tell my sister. Hmm. She'll be so mad, knowing I hid it from her. Uh, don't worry. I'll take the blame for you. You know, you should ask for something bigger. These are wish-granting fireworks, like in the stories. Stories, huh? We'll see who fulfill their focus. They become crystal and gain eternal life. <sighs> Would help if they gave you some clue about what you're supposed to do. <sighs> we'll figure this thing out. You will never be one of those monsters. So what will I be? A crystal? <laughs> Yesterday at the store, I got us something. I don't know much about jewelry, but I hope you like it. Stand by you. No matter what happens, I'm yours forever. Sarah. My one, my only. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> she said yes! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, and then she got turned into a crystal. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. Or maybe not. Gotta love these fireworks. They granted my wish. Your wish? Before I asked you to marry me, I wish that you would say yes. Then, maybe they'll grant mine, too. What's that? To have the courage to tell Lightning that I've become a lassie. Hey, our engagement is way bigger news. <laughs> oh. Man, I can't wait to see her face. <laughs> She'll be my new sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, oh, that's not dangerous, is it? Flying into where the fireworks are getting fired up to. <laughs> Thank you, Snow. 
<laughs> the hell is that? A space bike or something? <laughs> Bloody suffocate at that height. I guess we fell from up there, and the lake turned to crystal? Help me out here! I mean, did the foul sea do this? How in the world did we end up here? How should I know? Oh, we're alive! How? Sarah! No one survives a fall from that high, not without a miracle! Sarah saved us! Sarah, listen, it's all your fault, she got... <gasps> Hey, 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 hey! Watch out! There we go. Uber moves. Why did I? Just do. You use magic. You use the power of the sea. The foul sea curses. We're the sea now. Paradigm system. You can assign characters the most effective roles for a given situation by changing your party's paradigm. You can switch between paradigms as often as you like. First press LB to access your party's paradigm deck. Yeah, I remember this. Just swap them out and stuff, can't you? Each paradigm assigns specific roles to the members of your party. These roles define the spells and abilities available to your party member as well as their general behaviour and combat. There's a wide variety of paradigms to choose from. Offensive paradigms concentrate on dealing damage to enemies, while defensive paradigms focus on party protection and healing. It is very important to shift paradigms to suit your situation. You can press up down to scan the paradigms available and see the list of roles in each comprises your current paradigm. Relentless Assault is an offensive paradigm in which multiple attackers coordinate their efforts. The paradigm's two ravages target whichever enemy the commando attacks. With, with, uh, what? With the goal of quickly filling the enemy's chain gauge in order to stagger it. If you wish to continue using the Relentless Assault paradigm, press B to close the paradigm deck. If you wish to change to paradigms, then if you wish to change paradigms, then select a new paradigm with up down. <laughs> One of your party members has just taken damage. Now might be a good time for your paradigm deck. Yeah, already done it. Solidarity will cast snow in the role of Sentinel, boosting his defenses. Okay. Nicely done. Well, <laughs> not very nicely done as it happens. 
I'm not sure why. I shifted. Well, maybe I should have shifted back to Assault Paradigm or whatever it's called. So we really are, Lissy. Uh. <sighs> oh, looks like it. You too? Yep. Right here. Okay. Let's see to the last. <sighs> Why me? I don't even know you! But you have to go and attack that thing? Just leave me alone! Sure. It's your fault. It's your fault, my... You could've... All of this is your and Sarah's fault! Watch it! Sorry. Everything is gonna be all right. You'll see. Come on. Off we go. She's a glass half full kind of girl, isn't she? Eh? <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine, guys. Come on. The sea, huh? Yep. We're all playing for Team Pulse now. Why me? Uh, didn't notice a save point. There's not one on the mini map. Cool, blimey, that colour is bright. Vibrant or what? Whoa, check that out. <laughs> Got to run for all two seconds, eh? Okay. If we don't know our focus, how do we complete it? I think I saw it. Saw what? That is how a focus comes down, people. The Fauci, they don't spell it out with clear cut instructions. All you get is a hazy glimpse. Mm hmm. Well, you know, that's what they say. You know, legends and all. Mm -hmm. Legends. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see anything? <sighs> I, uh. I just. It's all kind of foggy, but. I saw this big. I mean, towering. What? What? Wait a minute. Hold on now. Do we all have the same dream? Ragnarok. Ragnarok. So, we all saw the same dream. We all heard that same voice. You mean that was our focus? But how are we supposed to know what to do from that? Mm -hmm. That's the tricky part. The dream's the only hint the Falsi gives us. Figuring out what to do with it, that's our job. Okay, okay. We're pulselessy, right? Enemies are cocoon. So, does that mean that our focus is... Are we supposed to... Save her. Say what? Our focus is to protect cocoon. Really? Okay, and why's that? Sarah told us. Let's do it. We're all in this together. I'm gonna look for Sarah. She ought to be nearby. Uh, I'll come too. Wait. And the old slap. Jeez. Yeah, that boy can't stay still. Really? Battle team changed.
Having become Lassie, the members of your party can now develop their powers. Nice! Learning your abilities or improving attributes such as strength, magic and HP. This tutorial explains how to develop characters in the Crystarium. It's Christ <laughs> Crystarium. Is that what we're saying? First, open the menu. The Crystarium is now accessible from the menu. Select it with up and down and then A to open it. Next, use the D-pad to select the character you wish to develop. Select Lightning this time and then press A. Oh yeah, this is ringing a bell. This is the Crystarium, which allows you to develop a character's abilities in various roles. Lightning can currently develop as a Commando or a Ravager. Each has its own path of development. Use up down to select Commando and then press A. As you can see, the ruin, crystal, uh, the ruin crystal is illuminated. Illuminated crystals represent known abilities. Lightning can use the offensive magic spell rune whenever she is playing the role of commando. The crystal next to the ruin is dimmed, but by extending the line of the crystal, crystogenesis to reach it, Lightning can obtain the crystal and its benefits. You can advance the path of crystogenesis by holding A. Doing so will consume a crystogen for... Uh, cr will consume Christogen points. Character development always requires CP. Go ahead and advance Lightning's Path of Christogenesis. Press A and the line will extend gradually, consuming CP. Continue holding A until the line reaches your crystal blah blah. You obtained a Strength plus 4 Crystal, increasing Lightning's Strength attribute by 4. Abilities can only be used when the corresponding role, but uh, when in the corresponding role, but attribute bonuses like this one apply across all roles. At times, you must direct the course of the crystogenesis. Normally, the line will advance until you run out of CP. However, it will stop automatically at branching points like strength four plus crystal you just obtained. To continue advance the crystogenesis here, hold A and select the direction in desired. Uh, so, HP, uh, I suppose up the way, you get another move, don't we? You have run out of CP, so Christogenesis cannot proceed to develop lightning further. You will need to earn more CP. You can develop other party members by going RB, LB. Seems reasonable. Uh, nice. He got to do more than uh, she did, didn't he? Uh, yeah, he did. Fringewood, whatever that is. And he's out. Uh, might do her medic first as it happens. Cure. Libra. Oh, easy. Ravager, Ravager, or Ravager when it comes to him. Uh, synergist. Protect. Magic. Ah, Blizzard Fire Blah. Could be a magic -y person. Or a medic person.
All right, so we did that, I think. We need to find a way out of here. We can worry about everything else later. Well, it seems reasonable. Uh, what I really want, though, is a save point if we can find one. Anything but crystal. Pretty and all, but I'm pretty too. Well, that's where we came from. There definitely wasn't one up there, so this way it is. Oh, there it is. I can see it. Well, you can see it. I can. Good progress there. On with the proper story now. We're away from... Well, not proper story, but you know what I mean. Away from the original... The first area. Well, we've gone way over time there, people. An hour and a half, nearly. So this is a perfect place to wrap things up, methinks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in this second part of Final Fantasy XIII on the Xbox One X. And I shall see you all in the next part, folks. Take it easy. Bye.